wanna talk about one of the most famous studies in social psychology history, Stanley Milgram's research on obedience to authority. Now, the most important conclusion of his research was not that we are all capable of inflicting harm on others when directed to do so by authority figures. That was a finding, but it's not the most important piece. In the 1960s, Stanley Milgram completed a series of studies on obedience to authority. They recruited people into a study to evaluate learning and memory. And the researchers told the participants, look, we're trying to, to evaluate whether or not punishment helps people learn faster. So they brought each participant individually into a room with two other Confederates. One Confederate is the researcher, a known Confederate part of the study. That person's role is the authority figure. And the other Confederate plays the role of another participant pulled at random. Then the researcher says to the two participants, one real, one a Confederate, and says, Confederate, you are gonna be the learner and participant, you're gonna be the teacher. And what we're gonna do here is the teacher is going to read off a list of words and the learner has to memorize those words or identify relationships between those words. If they get the answer wrong, the teacher, the real participant, has to administer a shock. They then take the learner to the other room, but they allow the participant to see the learner get strapped to a machine with an electrode on their arm. While this is happening, the learner says, the Confederate says, I just want you to know I have a heart condition. I think it's fine, but I do have a heart condition. Then they take the teacher, the participant, to the other room and put them in front of a large machine with a series of levers on it, all the way from 15 to 450 volts. Before they begin, the researcher says, let me give you a small shock so that you know that what it feels like to be shocked. If you're gonna shock this person, it's only fair that you get a little bit of shock. Then the experiment begins. The teacher goes through and starts reading off words and the learner keeps making mistakes. And the teacher has to give shocks, progressively stronger and stronger shocks. And when the shocks get closer to that kind of 75 volt level, they start screaming in the other room. And invariably the participant giving the shocks turns to the researcher and says, hey, is that okay that that person's screaming over there? And the researcher or the authority figure says, yes, continue. And the participant keeps going through the experiment, giving progressively stronger shocks. But the learner, the confederate, continues to elevate their distress. Now they're screaming loudly, please stop. Oh my God, that's so painful. I need you to stop right now. And the teacher, participant, turns to the experimenter and goes, are, are we serious? Can we please stop this? I don't wanna do this anymore. Let's discontinue, it's not worth it. And the authority figure says, I'm asking you to continue. If you stop, you're gonna ruin the experiment. So they keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it until at some point, the confederate in the other room, the learner says, my heart is hurting. I want out of this, stop it now. Let me out of here, let me out of here. This creates great distress on the part of the teacher or the participant. And invariably they turn to the researcher and goes, they go, I don't wanna do this anymore. But the authority figure says, do it. I'm asking you to do it. And then the participant eventually says to the researcher, you are responsible then. I don't wanna do this anymore. If you're asking me to do it, you are responsible for whatever happens to that person in the other room. And the researcher or the authority figure says, yes, I take full accountability. And 66% of the participants went all the way through until the person in the other room became non-responsive. They kept giving shocks all the way up to 450 volts. As you can imagine, the outcome of this study, the idea that an average person would listen to an authority figure and shock somebody that they thought was dead with 450 volts was groundbreaking. But there's more than that. In a follow-up study, Milgram changed one variable and that was he added extra participants in the room, all Confederates, but all asked to do the exact same thing. So when the participant was giving the shocks, he or she is looking around the room and seeing other people that are the teachers administering shocks. And when they saw other people doing what they were supposed to be doing, following authority, 95% of people continued to shock what they thought was a non-responsive person in the other room with 450 volts. It was an incredible finding, and you have to remember, it came on the heels of the Holocaust. So when people in the United States were saying, oh, that's a, that's a European issue, that only happens in Germany, it could never happen here, Milgram showed, no, it could definitely happen anywhere. We are all responsive to authority, especially when other people that are like us, our peers, are listening. When we perceive that the group is doing something, we all want to follow authority. And what's amazing about it, what Milgram pointed out was, 
This is just one authority figure. This is one researcher saying, do it. Imagine how powerful a government is. Imagine how effective it is when the government has a unified message that we all listen to. So as I said in the beginning, that conclusion I don't think is the most important. What's important is that people experienced incredible distress. It's not like the authority figure said, go give that person a shock and the participants were like, okay, authority figure said it, let's do it, no big deal. They, they pleaded, they asked to stop, they screamed, they got angry, they got agitated, and then they asked the authority figure to take responsibility. And once the authority figure took responsibility, they were able to go through and continue to give the shocks to the non-responsive person. That shift in responsibility was crucial to each participant's ability to engage in this horrific behavior. Stanley Milgram called the psychological mechanism of shifting responsibility the agentic state. The idea is that the participant, in an effort to decrease their level of distress, became an agent of the authority. I am just the authority figure's hands engaging in the shocking, but this person's making all the decisions, they are responsible, they should feel bad, not me. It's a, it's a distancing of the individual from what's actually going on around them. So I think understanding that psychological process is critical when it comes to preventing individuals in a society from just following what the authority figure says. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, why is that important? I think this experiment is important for two reasons. The first is we cannot allow ourselves to ever feel like we are just an instrument of somebody else. I don't care who the authority figure is, you should never tell yourself that it's their responsibility and I am just an agent. If you maintain responsibility, if you see yourself as the person that's making the decisions, you are much more likely to operate in alignment with your values. That's the first thing. The second thing is, Milgram was able to increase the percentage of people that engaged in the negative behavior from 66% when they were alone to 95% when they believed that they were part of a group. This tells us the power of groupthink. When we believe everybody else is doing it, we will do horrific things. So to stop ourselves from doing that, we have to make sure that we are not only operating within one group. We need to be pursuing different views and perspectives outside of that which we know. If those participants had seen somebody else walk out of the experiment, I guarantee you all of them would have also walked out of the experiment, but they weren't given exposure to somebody thinking differently. So as you can imagine, there's a lot here. It's a super important study. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for listening.